What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be working on our camper van. So like HP just said, today we're gonna to be picking up where we left off with the last fan video. And last week we started working on the ceiling and we also began the process of planning out the floors as well. And so what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be working on the plumbing, we're gonna be finishing the ceiling, and hopefully by the end of this video we also have our flooring as well. Probably not installed, but hopefully we have it at the house. So. Let's get started. Aubrey's inside on a couple of meetings, so I'm out here working on the van. And what I've done so far is I've had all of these puck lights ran, and we're gonna have these on two separate circuits. So I have one switch for our bedroom, and then the other switch is going to be for our kitchen kind of living room area. Now, I've already had all the wires ran out to here. I've left a little bit of space, so I know I have some wiggle room in case I have to take that light down because if I ever need to replace them, if they break, I have room to take them down. Now, the really cool part about these lights is that they have two little springs and we're just going to fish them right back up there, like so. Now they're in. Okay, so I've got some more ceiling boards up and attached, they're all fixed and they're going nowhere for now, but I need to insulate because something that Aubrey and I have found working on the van, especially during the daytime, is that this roof gets pretty toasty. Now, I'm pretty hot myself and it's hotter than me, so you know it's, it's pretty spicy, okay? But what we're gonna do is we have some extra insulation, which this is sheep's wool, so I wouldn't go rolling around in this and I wouldn't breathe it in, but it definitely is a little less toxic than your typical uh, insulation. So this is the same stuff that we use in our walls and we stuffed it very tight and it actually keeps the van fairly cool whenever it's really hot outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and stuff some in while I still can and then hopefully we have enough because Aubrey is super concerned about this getting too hot and we don't want our boards to get so hot to where they start warping or flexing and we definitely don't want to be toasting up in here especially when we are away from the van. So let's go ahead and start putting some in there. What's going on guys? Another rainy day out here in Texas, but that doesn't mean we still can't keep working. As you can see, I have our white shiplap already laid out and I have painted it. Uh, this is actually called Glacial Stream, so not your typical eggshell white. So all of our shiplap that's gonna go on our walls inside the van, that's what that's for. I also have our cabinet starting to get painted. Now it kind of looks like a split pea green soup but it's not actually that bright. It's darkening up as uh, it's drying. Uh, I just laid down some fresh paint, which is nice. So after not touching the van for like, how long did I not touch the van HP? Like a week and a half? Yeah, easy. A week and a half, it's time to take on the plumbing, which is my big task I have been assigned. So we have this box of plumbing supplies that we purchased. I will do a full breakdown of what we actually bought, but right now it's time to try to assemble this as much as possible. So I am going to be following this draft guide type thing that I drew out based off of something similar that I found online. So let's see if my drawing actually works in execution. Alright, 
so the plumbing is like basically done it's set up of course we don't have our sink so we can only get so much done without the sink and the cabinets actually installed but let's take a look but before we take a look let's clean this up okay so here we have the water system so basically how it works is this right here is the water hose that is going to go to the sink this is this bottom one right here is the drain hose and you can see that you can drain the water here we're gonna have like a line that will go from this spout here outward that way you can drain the water and not get it like all over the van so this is the bottom portion and then if you look on the top you'll see one switch this is for the water pump. Basically the point of that is, is that if the tank runs out of water, you don't want the water pump to still run because I guess it can cause damage to it. I'm not exactly sure like the thought process behind it, but in my research, that's what I found out is that you don't want the pump to be running if you run out of water in the tank. And so this switch here will turn off and on the water pump. Now HP needs to wire that to the water pump. And so it's not functioning right now, it's just mounted. And then this right here, this is the water fill port so you basically unscrew it let's see if i can do this one handed and then you can see here it will go in to this side so the water will go into here it will then exit right here and then it will go into the tank here we still need to get a line that will go from here to here we didn't have the right size and so that still needs to be done but that will be easy and then this right here is just for air to let air into the tank and so this will be mounted Probably something like this. Not exactly sure how I'm gonna go about mounting that, but we'll decide that once the tank is like mounted in its place, we'll, we'll stay forever. Then right here we have a few things. So we have this like water filter thing. I don't know exactly what that is, but you can see that right here. We have that mounted from the hose that was going from the back bottom section of the tank. We then have the water pump right here. This goes to the water accumulator here. And then this, is the um, gray water tank. But the water accumulator, the water accumulator currently isn't connected to anything because it will need to connect the sink. So as of right now, this is kind of our stopping point until we get our sink installed. Then right here we have our gray water tank and it is a quick release. And so I basically just secured this nozzle thing on top of this cap and it's gonna be quick release, so it'll make it super, super easy to take this gray water tank out so that you can empty it. So you'll just basically have to pull and then take it off like that. So, just like that, super, super easy. Now, I don't think I did the best job explaining that, but all in all, I hope that this is correct. Now, the bad thing is, is that we can't actually test any of this stuff until the electricity is fully wired in the van, so we actually won't know until the van is basically complete, whether or not all of this works, but my fingers are crossed. But once I find out if this works, I can create a diagram if that would be helpful to maybe some of you that are building out your own van. I can definitely do that, but I don't wanna do that until I know whether or not it will work. So this is basically our stopping point right now until we get this cabinet installed because we can't install the sink until we have the cabinet and we can't install the cabinet until we have the flooring. So there's a few pieces of the puzzle that need to be completed before we can move on to the next step of plumbing. On an unrelated note, I got this retractable pen, which has been, or pencil, which has been a huge lifesaver. If anybody works like with wood working tools a lot, I highly recommend this pencil. And then in the garage, HP has been doing a excellent job getting everything painted. I hate painting. <laughs> we still need to cut this cabinet down to size, which I believe you said you're doing tomorrow. Yes. We're also hoping that the flooring comes in tomorrow as well, and so that will probably be the next step. Hopefully the floors come in. So. Uh, yeah, let's see when that comes in. So as you can see behind me, we have our cabinets, which HP has been doing a wonderful job painting. We also have our shiplap wall, which he also painted, and the most recent shipment that just came in today is our flooring. So we have our sub flooring barrier thing, and then we have three packs of flooring. HP, do you remember how much these flooring were? Uh, it was like 180-ish and that is what it looks like. It's gonna be like a grayish color. Mm -hmm. And so it seems like that will be what is being tackled this week. Yes. It seems like never ending progress. I mean, every single time we work on something, it's one There's thing another. There's another thing to work on. <laughs> yeah, but we're coming to an end, hopefully. We, yeah, I mean, like HP just said, I really do think that we are coming to an end. Like we have, I really feel like the things that we need to do can be like counted on one hand. Mm. Flooring, walls, 
cabinets, electricity. Finish the van. Yeah, and so we're gonna be done soon. So like always, you guys, we appreciate you checking out this video. So the next van video will be coming in a week or maybe two weeks. And in that video, we should be tackling installing these cabinets, installing the walls, and installing the floors. But time will tell. So like always, you guys, if you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And we'll see you in the next episode.